Hi there, my name is Lee Hannigan and I'm a Senior Specialist Solutions Architect with Amazon DynamoDB. In this video, we're going to discuss one of DynamoDB's features, which is maximum throughput for on-demand tables. With this feature, you can now optionally specify the maximum throughput for reads, writes, or both on a table or global secondary index level. Let's get into it. So maximum throughput is built for on-demand tables and to first understand where it's beneficial, we want to give you a brief introduction to what on-demand capacity mode is. DynamoDB's on-demand is a serverless billing option that allows DynamoDB to serve millions of requests per second without you having to worry about any capacity planning. On-demand mode offers a pay-per-request pricing model for both reads and writes so that you only pay for what you use. When you choose on-demand mode, DynamoDB instantly accommodates your workloads as they ramp up or down to any previously reached traffic level. If a workload's traffic level hits a new peak, DynamoDB adapts rapidly to accommodate that workload. As DynamoDB's on-demand mode can instantly scale to any previously reached peak, it is governed by the account table level limit. By default, this is 40,000 read capacity units and 40,000 write capacity units. This is a region level setting, meaning that this is, governs the capacity that all of your on-demand tables can consume. That means that each one of them can consume from zero to 40,000 instantly. And of course, this is only a soft limit. So if, if you have a large application that may need 100,000 write capacity units, for example, you will have to increase all of the capabilities of all of your tables within that region. That means for some applications that only need a small amount of capacity, they do have the ability to go from zero to 100,000 write capacity units instantly, as that is an account level limit. With maximum throughput for on-demand, we are now giving you the option to provide a limit on a per table or per index basis for both reads or writes. So this now allows you to govern how much capacity that you can consume on a per table or per index basis. You are no longer need to be governed by this account level limit, which is a, like a blanket over all of your tables. If we look at our CloudWatch metrics here, we have a limit set for 500 write capacity units, and we're also trying to consume as much as we can. But as you can see, our consumed capacity is unable to exceed our on-demand maximum throughput. So some use cases where this may be beneficial, one is throughput cost optimization. So using maximum throughput for on-demand tables provides an additional layer of cost predictability and manageability. Additionally, it offers greater flexibility to use on-demand mode to support workloads with different traffic patterns and budgets. Then we have protection against excessive usage. So by setting maximum throughput, you can prevent an accidental surge in read or write consumption, which may arise from something like a non-optimized code or a rogue process against your on-demand table. So this table level setting can protect organizations from consuming excessive resources within a certain time frame. And finally, we can safeguard downstream services. An application can include serverless and non-serverless technologies. And the serverless piece of the architecture can scale rapidly to match demand. But downstream components with fixed capacities could easily be overwhelmed. So implementing maximum throughput settings for on-demand tables can prevent large volumes of events from propagating to multiple downstream components with unexpected side effects. So now it's time for the demo. I'm going to take you through the AWS Web Console to show you how to implement maximum throughput for on-demand tables. So here we are in the AWS Web Console, and we're going to go ahead and create a DynamoDB table. So we click on DynamoDB, and on the right-hand side, we have the Create Table Workflow. We're going to click on that. We'll give it a sample name. And we're just going to put in a partition key. We'll call it PK for short and the same with the sort key, SK for short. And then we scroll down to the table settings. And we're going to put in customized settings here so we can select for on-demand mode. 
So customize setting. We don't need to change the table class. Scroll on down. We come to the read write capacity settings. Here we're going to choose on demand mode. And then we'll see this drop down, which is our new maximum table throughput, which is optional. So we're going to drop that down. Now we can see that we can set either reads or writes or both on table or index if we were to create an index. So we're going to head and we're going to set for both. So we unlock both of those and we're going to give them 1000 read capacity units and 1000 write capacity units. So this now locks this table in to not being able to produce more than 1000 write capacity units or 1000 read capacity units, no matter what applications are talking to it. Scrolling right to the bottom then, we can skip encryption, deletion protection, and resource-based policies. We don't need any tags, and we go ahead and create the table. So while that one's be being created, I'll show you one that I created earlier, so we can skip the, the loading phase. So this is called my first table. And first of all, if we scroll over to the very top right of our table settings, we have this additional settings tab. We click on that. We can see that our capacity mode is on demand. And now we can also see that we've got maximum read request units and maximum write request units. And again, both of those are set to 1000 each. Then if we scroll over to the monitor tab, so monitor gives us a brief overview of our CloudWatch metrics. And for about the last one hour or so, I've been making write requests to this table. And those write requests are trying to exceed the 1000 write capacity units that I have set as my maximum table throughput limit. So for reads, we're not going to see anything different. But for writes, we can see we've got a lot of write throttle requests. So write throttle requests are happening because I'm trying to exceed the limit that I put in place. So for every item or every request that exceeds that 1000 write capacity units, DynamoDB is going to give that a throttling exception and it'll show up in your graph just like this. Basically, it's telling Dynam DynamoDB is basically telling your application that you need to slow down, that it cannot maintain the rate of request that you're making. So then if we go over to our write usage, which we see our consumption, and we dig into the last one hour, we can see that we have this steady orange line, and that orange line is our maximum uh, write request units. The blue line is our consumption, and you can see that DynamoDB is not allowing it to exceed the orange line. So we're being governed by that 1000 write capacity units that we set up when we created the table. So if we wanted to disable our maximum throughput for on-demand tables, that can be easily done too. So if we go back over to our additional settings on the top right, we can click edit here on the read write capacity mode. And here you can just disable these checkboxes. That's simply removing it. We can also edit those. We can increase them should we want. If we want to increase our reads, for example, to 10,000, we can easily do that and we can disable our writes at the same time. We go ahead and we save the changes and that's done. So it's really as simple as that to manage the maximum throughput levels for your on-demand capacity mode tables. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video for maximum throughput for on-demand mode tables. If you'd like to learn more, please scan the QR link that you see here. See you in the next one.